everyone this is Tanya here with memory lane keepsakes and welcome back to my channel I am so grateful that you guys have joined me yet today today is the Anna Elizabeth Diamond Spells 2023 collab that is hosted by Jamie which is Poet is Spice here on the YT we also have some other wonderful talented ladies a part of this collaboration and this collaboration is a year-long collaboration where we post every second Friday at 10 a.m. so make sure you come back and join us every single second Friday of the year so you can see what we have created now all we have to do is create something that is Anna Griffin something that is Elizabeth craft design something that may be diamond press or spellbinders it's left up to us whatever we choose to create but we pull out one of those different company items and we have fun with it to inspire you guys now we are not sponsored by those companies but we like to have fun and we hope you do as well and besides we have all these items in our crafty room so why not go ahead and pull it out and use it so the lineup for this wonderful collaboration is nalika sims anita wood scrapbook and channel we also have lynn which is gift diva we have audrey which is so good all we have betty which is scrap passion 01 we have robin which is crafty heart rn and we also have Debbie Vanola and myself as Memory Lane Keepsakes. So today I have created a bunch of different things here um, using a lot of my crafty items. And I'm so excited to share with you all what I have created. So I chose to use my Elizabeth Craft Design stash this go round. I love using the items from Elizabeth Craft Design. I have a lot of it so you guys will be seeing a lot of that throughout the year. So one of the first items that I used was this item here which is Peace on Earth. I use um, this particular die right here and I'm going to show you why in a little bit. So this is one that I really like a lot. So I use that one. I also use this one which says congratulations. This is another beautiful die by Elizabeth Craft Design. I also use my Stitch Squares. Gorgeous. This is one that I pull out quite often. This one gets um, a lot of use here in my craft space. I also chose to use this one which is the Oriental card beautiful beautiful die and this is what it looks like then I pulled some things that wasn't a part of the different items that we could use but you can mix and match which I love to do that here on my channel so you guys will see that quite often and especially if this is your first time following me that's what I'm about I'm about using up what I have in my space and showing you different ways to go about it so one of the things I did pull out was my scissor. This is the Jen Long. And I use this particular die right here. And this die is called Christmas Phrases Number 2. I also use this Momental one here. Because I need some numbers. And then I use this Ranger one that is a stamp set. And then of course my favorite Diamond Dots which happens to be Shade 5011. Beautiful. Love it. And then I also use my Spectrum Noir Sparkle. And I use some rubber cement glue. And then I also use one of my Tombow glues as well that is not currently in this space right now. I moved it to another room. And then I also use, I keep a designated paintbrush for my Spectrum Noir um, glitter because this right here, I always use the same brush. So I recommend you definitely. Um, keeping a brush that you use for certain things and then of course I use my bone folder tool and then I use my diamond tool here to pick up the little diamond dots with that being said the item I chose to create was a wedding card I made this wedding card for a client um, they have someone that is celebrating it's a couple that's um, going to actually renew their vows and they've been married already for 30 years so that is awesome now I want to first go ahead and say thank you to everybody who saw my post on my Instagram. My husband and I just celebrated 19 years. We have some catching up to do. 30 years we're going to get there and more. So I'm so thankful. Yes, we've been together a long time and we met in college. So I'm really happy about that. And yes, yeah, so with that all been said, we're going to go ahead and jump on in my creation. And so let's go ahead and get into there. So this is what I created 
I absolutely love the way this turned out this card right here I went with the square card I wanted something different and unique I love the way that oriental die looks and what I did was I jeweled that up you can see how it sparkles because I wanted to make it elegant and then I also chose to add some sparkle to the congratulations on 30 years I raised that up I this was cut three to four times each to make it pop and you can see the thickness of it I love my things to definitely stand out more and I kept it simple because I wanted to stick with your traditional black and white I didn't want to go outside of that since I didn't know the wedding colors because this particular client asked me to create a wedding card and do me so I wanted to stay in my lane and make something that I knew would speak volumes and also be something that she can take it and do whatever she needed to do as far as signing and writing a beautiful message in the inside with that being said inside of this card here I did leave it blank but I have propped this up to make it so thick to the point where this will always be a piece that they could use and save uh, for their album because I kept all of my wedding cards when I got married and so I hope they do the same you can also see that stitching that's around this card here as well now you're probably wondering how in the world did I use all those other items that I shared I'm going to show you that so the congratulations you know came from the congratulations die and I just back up here and show you everything so that was the congratulations there you guys see that so I used that the own I didn't have an own die so what I did I took the piece on earth in the middle I cut this one out using my big shot and I just cut the own part out I cut this out three times and then I well, actually cut it out four times um, so that way I could layer this I did it one with the um, cardstock color which was black and I did the other ones using my cereal box for the chipboard to give it its thickness and then I also use the numbers as you see for the 30 that's how I was able to get that now for the years that's where this one right here came in I had the new year die but I didn't have years so I took the year and then I cut the S from the word holiday well actually seasons I cut it from the um, seasons which you could still cut it from um, the holidays if you wanted to I cut that S off and I joined the S to the year to make years because 30 year don't sound you know that's not proper so we have to do 30 years so that's how I was able to get that I wanted this to flare up like it did to kind of create that illusion to where it's like lace of a wedding gown I just love that for the bride and then that black speaks volume for that tuxedo that's why I chose the black and the white and then the diamond dots pulls it all together because of course it's supposed to be elegant and that's how we're doing it right here and so we did that and now my stamp this comes into place because I didn't stop there ladies and gentlemen no I did not I decided to go ahead and make a envelope using my envelope board so I use my envelope punch board and I decided to make an envelope to match my card and this is how the mister mister and missus came into play and I love the way I went back and I also added an oriental die to the envelope to kind of bring it all together there and I love the way this turned out you guys comment down below and let me know what you think of my creation I know my client is going to be pleased with this I'm so excited to definitely give this to her and I definitely will be making more using that beautiful collection by Elizabeth Craft Design this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes make sure you guys definitely check us out every second Friday at 10 a.m. where we post our videos to share with you what we use the Anna Elizabeth Diamond Spells here in the 2023 collab. All the ladies channels will be listed in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessings and have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.